and everything you'll need. Okay. All right. This is pretty heavy. Yeah. That's why I said you need somebody for this. This will go in here. This little pin. Right through there. Right. And then so forth. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to jack it up. Mm-hmm. Back the truck up. Okay. 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 Well, this coupler right here, once you get it hooked up, yeah. let the weight down to this locks. Okay. Alright, once that does lock, I'm gonna pick the truck and the trailer back you up. Yeah, make sure it locks. Make sure it locks. Okay. And there's also another one. I'll show you what I mean. Okay. Okay. Now I know we're locked. Okay. Not only that. Now, oh, when you hook those. these bars up, the ideal is the higher you pick up the truck, the easier these bars hook up. On. I'll explain that. Just a Let's throw these keys down. I... Now, see this notch right here? Yeah. There's actually a pin that goes through the piece right in here. Mm -hmm. The ideal is to get that in there. So I'm going to bring this over at an angle just like this. All right. I'm going to shove it up and pull it over its lock. Now, if you can't do that, you can actually bring it over here. Pull, pull out. Pull out. And, yeah, and then you feel it. And, yeah. yeah. Okay. I prefer to take it over like I did. Because then you know it's right. up in there. And actually, a lot of times when you pull that, it gets stuck with you and stuff. Right. But when you bring it over, make sure it's, it's locked. Okay. All right. Now, these brackets here, you're not going to have to never set them again. Right now, I've just got them set here because yeah. I don't know where they go. The ideal is I want this chain as straight as possible. All right. When it's hooked up on that bracket. Okay. Get it there. Like I said, you should never have to move these. Want, now that you're getting it right. mounted, right. This bar here is for this right here. Pull it down. Oh, okay. All right. Now, I'm going to take this right here. I don't know which chain link to put this in. Right. The more these I grab, the higher it picks up the back of your truck. Keeps your trailer from squatting. Right now. See how loose that is? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I got five links. Hanging. Five open. I'm going to leave it right there for me. Okay. The reason it's loose, one. it got the truck picked up in the air. Right. Yeah. We'll set it down and see what that looks like. I may have to adjust. Gotcha. But the roll of thumbs, if you pick that up, it makes them bars hook up easier. Right. Before I take that bar off, first thing I'm going to do is jack the trailer back up in the air with the truck. Make sure there's not a lot of tension on it. Gotcha. Then you're going to come right here with the bar here. Undo it pin. and then roll that and over. Roll it down. Okay. If you got a lot of tension on it, I mean, it's gonna hit you. So yeah. jack it up, get the tension off of it. Another good reason to have that jack. Correct. <laughs> Electronic jack. Correct. Now always set this bar the same, that one's setting up. Right. Whichever link you got them in, they both need so to be. We know we want five open right. ones after you.
sure the chain's not twisted up. There right. Of course, like I said, use the bar, especially if you got any tension on it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Then. Then you want this? Take this right here. Pull Thin this. Out. Both pull sides. This. All right. There's a ball here on the trailer. Put this black end toward the trailer, this chrome looking in against this chrome ball. Okay. All right. You do it this way. The way oh, okay. All right. Once you get it on, take this right here. Now, like I said, I'm not sure this hitch is set right. Right. We'll know that when we put the weight. I just want you to know how to do it. Yeah, you know. exactly. Pin back here. Gotcha. Make sure you get it behind the ball to where it's not going to come off anyway. Yeah. Now what this is, this is your sway control. Okay. Okay. These bars are your weight distribution bars. Okay. That's what keeps you from squatting plus bouncing when you're going down the road. Right. To be honest with you, this little trailer, this truck, you probably ain't going to get much bouncing or squatting either way. Right. You know? But sway, yeah, you may get. This right here. This is how you tighten it from sway. There is a brake shoe here and here. Oh, a friction pad. Okay. This is a friction ball. So it's got prime your brakes so the tighter you get this, the more it squeezes in this. Gotcha. The rule of thumbs is is to get this hand tight and back it off a quarter of a turn. Oh, okay. All right. Make sure your handle's never pointing in this direction. Okay. This handle. Because you might always turn point and bend toward it. the camera. Right. If you're backing up. Take this off. Okay. To take it off, loosen this up. Pull these pins. Take it off. This is what'll happen if you turn real sharp backing up. You'll bend this. It'll bottom out and right. bend. Plus, it might bend your hitch. Right. Yeah. You know? So anytime you're backing up, of course, if you jack not okay. Take this bolt right here. Yeah. Turn it a quarter of a turn with a wrench. If you're then, still getting sway. Right. Then come back and tighten hole. this back the same way with your hand. Okay. If you're still getting swag in, loosen this again, uh -huh. tighten it a quarter or more turn. Okay. Now, if you're running level, you got proper air pressure in all your tires, you know, usually that's pretty well preset. The battery is right. charged, right? Right, right. You're with the program. Why well, assume that's... And how do you want that? You I'm just, just want to kind of put it around there and then... Yeah. Through the pen or yep. something? Oh, or what just... I actually recommend for that is to get a quick chain link, one of those quick ones. Oh, yeah. That you can hook. Like they make those keychains? Right. <laughs> well, yeah. But, but, you know, you can get one that you can actually screw or right. something. Right. Well, you can clip it here where it's not on the safety chains on the trailer. Right. Button. All right. That way it's to the truck itself. Yeah. You know, it makes that easier. This power cord, let's see if we got enough room to run it behind this jack. The idea is I'm trying to keep this where it it's rub. not going to fall and get smashed. Exactly. And it's hard to find that right way every time. Run it back that way. Make sure you get that in far enough that lid right, locks. Right. Now, until this cord kind of trains itself, you have to watch it. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. If you ever turn real sharp here, oh, you could pinch it. You could pinch it. Yeah. I got some customers. And while I'm in. practicing learning how to back up, I, got I some could very well do that. that. Come in here <laughs> and they'll put a wire tie here. Oh yeah, just to. Yeah. 